A Georgia district attorney could face prison time after a grand jury indicted him on bribery charges earlier this year. Some of the evidence involves conversations secretly recorded by one of his employees. Reveal investigator Andy Parati got a hold of those recordings and shares some of that evidence on TV for the first time. Inside the Paulding County Courthouse, a district attorney turns up the volume of a classical composer. I have never seen the ballet. I love the music. While seeking the attention of a young woman. Hey boss, you wanted to see me? They are Jamie White, a victim's advocate, and her boss, DA Dick Donovan, nearly twice her age. Starting in 2017, White secretly recorded hours of conversations I would be more attempting to document really sexual well. harassment, evidence that could now put office. the county's He'd top prosecutor well. behind bars. Things that probably are not suitable for the workplace. This past February, the Georgia Attorney General indicted Donovan on multiple felonies, one of them for false swearing or lying under oath. In May 2019, Donovan provided a sworn affidavit claiming he never told White to have sex with him, saying, I have never suggested we have sex. I have never offered to have sex with her. Here's Donovan in his own words. I said I was in good health. I am in perfectly good health. Everything still works. I don't mind telling you everything still works, and I'm not out of practice. I can't think of any experience I would relish or cherish more than to make love to you. Oh, God, gross. Gross, because he's absolutely talking about having sex. We asked Ashley Wilcock for her legal analysis of the case. She's a Metro Atlanta attorney and judge pro tem, not affiliated with the case. What a creep. Who is this guy? Who says that to somebody that works for them? That's creepy. In October 2017, police arrested White for shoplifting at the Cedartown Walmart. According to Donovan, one of her first calls from jail was to him. I'm Nick Donovan. I'm the guy that came and called and tried to fix it and did, as far as I tell. The attorney general claims what Donovan tried to fix was her arrest. According to the indictment, Donovan attempted to bribe a Cedartown prosecutor into dropping White's shoplifting charge in exchange for demissing charges against one of the prosecutor's clients. Wilcott says even if White didn't ask Donovan to do it, it could still be considered bribery. Because the favor is for him. Whether it's helping someone else or not, it's for him. He's the one that's getting that currency, and the currency is help this woman out for me. Donovan and White declined to be interviewed for this story, but there's something else in the audio recordings that's problematic for the DA. He admits to lying to other employees. I told her something I have not told you, I've not told anybody. I frankly, I lied. Do you not feel like you have a lot to lose? <laughs> yeah, but the answer is yes, but I'm crafty enough to avoid that, you know, just careful enough to avoid that. I would be Wilcott says that admission damages the DA as a prosecutor in the courtroom. It absolutely throws all credibility out the window. How does that work when it gets to trial? Who knows what evidence is going to be hidden or not revealed? You can't lie about things like this and break laws and get away with it. White settled her sexual harassment claim and collected about $300,000. Governor Kemp suspended Donovan from office in February, and he's still getting paid. No trial date for Donovan has been set. Well, I don't know about you, but I was hanging on to every word of yeah. that one. If you want to see more, go to Andy's story on 11alive.com, where we have a list and pictures of alleged gifts Donovan gave White.